Well, the margin was reduced because we have the very high effect of natural rubber price increases, which were on a low price last year and increased by more than 100% uh, over the last 12 months and this had an impact on the uh, third, uh, third quarter profit margin as well as some one-time effects which we have in the automotive division. Overall we see the effects of re restructuring and if you look in the year-to-date profit margin compared to the year-to-date profit margin of last year you see quite an increase. What we see at the moment is in the last four weeks is another price increase on the raw material side uh, in natural rubber and it's very hard, it was very volatile in the last weeks and months, it's very hard to predict uh, the development over the next months. What we do is we try to pass on these price increases, these cost increases via price increases to the consumers and we have done already a price increase in May and June in Europe and the US in the passenger car tires uh, and as well price increases on the commercial vehicle tires and we will do further price increase next year and we already did it for the uh, commercial vehicle division we announced it for November of this year. We have the target to increase the share of the sales share of uh, Asia in the continental group uh, to far above where we are now to around 25 percent at the moment we are at 18 percent this was the number of 2009 and yes we are investing there we are investing there more than we are investing in other regions to make sure that our sales development there will over proportionally grow and participate of the growth of those markets. We don't see, for our market, we don't see any changes in the development in Europe at the moment and as far as we can foresee it, uh, neither for the first quarter of next year and we have no indications for any slump in demand in our business overall for the next year. So we see quite a stable market for our products in Europe within the foreseeable time frame.